Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis, and today we are going to do a Star Wars: uh, The Bad Batch um, episode 11 review. Um, so I was re reviewing the episodes, like I was reviewing like the episodes when they came out, but then you know we got all this filler and stuff, and I was like, nothing's really progressing the story forward. So um, I decided not to review every episode. Uh, but this was a good one, episode 11. Um, this is this episode is pushing the story forward. This is a good episode, and if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you watch it. This one isn't filler. This one is moving the story forward. So in this episode, it starts off with um, some spaceship um, tr um, traveling through space and it's damaged and everything and there's a beast on there and it's taking out all the clones slash storm troopers on the ship and then the ship crash lands on some unknown planet and then we go to this um, empire base and uh, this new chief medical doctor um is in charge of cloning assets. I think they're trying to tie in, you know, the, the new sequels with Ray and Snoke into this about how that all happened. Mm. And kind of foreshadowed that at the end of the first season of The Bad Batch. Uh, but it looks here, looks like here, they're kind of continuing to push that narrative forward. And we see a, like, like I said, new a medical doctor there. And when we see him, he goes and sees uh, Nala Se. So if you don't know who that is, Nala Se was the chief medical doctor of, of Kaminoa. She's the one who engineered the clones with um, Jango Fett's DNA and everything. And the chief medical doctor, um, he's telling Nala Se to help, for her to help him with his cloning research. But Nalase does not want to help the Empire at all because the Empire, if you saw at the end of season one of the Bad Batch, the Empire did an orbital bombing of Kaminoa when they wiped out like her civilization. Now, you have to really see things from like Nalase's perspective. She uh, helped the make the clone army she helped put in the um inhibitor chips that caused the the clones to turn against the jedi and wipe the jedi out she was secretly affiliated with the sith and then the sith like turn around and betray her and the rest of her people so like why would she even help them even more like who cares? And he threatens to her that, and he says, "Hey, I'm the new guy here. I'm in charge. I can work. I can do worse to you than confine you to a cell." That's his words exactly. But with Nala say, she's like, "Who cares? Like, you wiped out my civilization. I mean, like, what possibly more could you like do to me?" And then she, he walks away because. He, re in fact, he really needs her in order to um, get hit whatever cloning stuff. He, he he needs her in order to do his cloning experiments. That's it. So he was threatening her, but he can't do anything without her. And I think she knows that, too. Then we finally transition to... Uh, the Bad Batch, Omega, and the rest of the clones, they're finally confronting Sid about what happened in episode 10. Yeah, episode 9, when she deserted them, when she said that they're on their own. And they finally confront her about it, and she's trying to give them a run around. She's trying to uh, like change the subject and everything, but they're not having any of it. So she has like another job for her. She has another job for them, and she basically tells them, "Don't come back unless like you you have something." And Hunter replies back, "What makes you think we're coming back to you at all?" And they can't cut ties with Sid because she knows a lot about them, and 
they can't cut ties with her yet, basically. So they take another job, but they're getting a bigger cut, 50% instead of the usual 23%. They're getting half now. So um, that's good. And they go investigate the ship that had crashed on the planet earlier. And they learn that it's a Zillow beast. Now, this um, this beast appeared in Star Wars The Clone Wars, and it's been a while ago since then. In fact, that's an understatement. It's been years um, uh, since it showed up in The Clone Wars. Like I was in high school when um, that episode came out. So it's been years. But this beast is so special because with its plated armor, it's immune to like blaster fire. It's immune to like lightsabers and stuff. It, it's very useful. In fact, the only way they could have like the only way they had taken down the Zillow Beast the first time is they use gas in order to defeat it. But um Hunter and the rest of the clones find the Zillow Beast. It's not big yet, it's kind of small, but it's absorbing electricity, and the more electricity it absorbs, the um uh, bigger it gets. Now I kind of got ahead of myself. Um the Zillow Beast in the Clone Wars did die due to poisonous gas. The one that's showing up in the Bad Batch is a clone of that beast. Anyway, it's getting big. It's draining power from a nearby village. Uh, the Empire are, are able to locate the, the Zillow Beast. And they're able to capture it. And um, the clones, the Clone Force 99, the Bad Batch, they just have to retreat and um just get out of there now with this season there's a lot of um secret treasure jobs that they've gone on and like they haven't gotten back anything like they didn't get back like their stuff there's been a lot of episodes this season to where sid sends them on a mission to go get some special item and somehow they're not able to retrieve that they that was the case with um count dooku's palace uh, that treasure hunt they went with Sid's friend, probably one other episode where they weren't able to bring back anything valuable um, due to complications. That's just the thing that I've been noticing when they go on these missions and stuff. But anyway, uh, the episode ends with uh, the Empire. They've captured the clone Zillow Beast. They bring it back to the medical base, and they bring back Lama Su. Lama Su is the prime was the former prime minister of Kaminoa, and he was the one working with Nala Se to uh, secretly work with the Sith to make the inhibitor chips. They bring the M the medical guy, the chief medical guy for the Empire, our chief cloning medical guy, brings Lama Su to his base he wants to know how he can force force Nala say to work on his cloning projects and Lama Su isn't just going to give him that for nothing he says that he wants his freedom and then the guy gives in okay fine well let's discuss but what is it how can I make her if I make Nala say more cooperative. He says, okay, so if you capture basically Omega, that's what you can use as leverage to get what you want out of her. And then they walk off to discuss, and that's how the episode ends. So great episode. It moves the plot forward. Um, looks like going forward, the Empire is going to be looking for Omega and are they going to capture her? Uh, what's going to happen? I really don't know. I'm most likely, I think, that somehow the Empire are going to capture her and they're going to force Nala Say um, to do the cloning um, experiments in order to in order to ensure Omega safety. I think that's probably where it's going, uh, but we'll see. So. That's all we have for today. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and all of you, have a great day.